Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Thank you as always everybody for your suggestions. Please keep them coming. I'm going to select one more video pretty soon on here. Uh, this particular video actually has to do with a suggestion that was done a couple of videos back. I forgot about this particular suggestion and I just came across it when I was looking at some of the comments again in some of my past videos. So it, it does go to show that whatever you've done in the past don't worry, I mean, I do check them every now and then to get a good remembrance on what I was going to talk about. So please keep them coming as always. Now this particular cryptid is quite fascinating because considering how big it is and its length on there, uh, this could be one of the top, I guess, three largest cryptids out there. I'd already mentioned that Zerotan is considered the largest one of all. But this other one on here, it could be in the top three at least, maybe number two in fact on there, if one doesn't uh, consider the Sky Serpents that I had mentioned in one of the other videos, because Sky Serpents really haven't been measured in length, but in any case, this particular cryptid is a difficult name, I hope I'm getting it right, it's called the Min Ho Kao, it's Min Ho Kao, M-I-N-H-O-C-A-O, uh, I guess, I uh, hope I'm saying it right, but again, that's the name that I'm going by on here. What's interesting about this particular cryptid is that, in essence, it's a giant earthworm. It's one of those uh, things that we've seen in films before, like, for example, that movie Dune, with those giant worms that roam the desert. And with regards to tremors, again, those giant worms that dug into the ground. But this time, this is a real-life thing. Apparently, there have been various sightings of this particular cryptid in the past. So, and I'll explain some of the uh, sightings here for you as well. And very, very fascinating stuff. The idea that something this large is out there uh, within the forest on here. So, with regards to this particular cryptid, the Minhokao, you gotta have to go back to a good while and you have to go to South America for this. Um, it looks like it had been reported since the 1800s or so. What had happened was uh, some people there in South America began um, exhibiting some activities and some sightings related to what they would call a huge earthworm and here's some examples for it. Uh, according to the stories that have been gathered on there, there are people that say that there's huge trenches that were suddenly showing up within a South American uh, forest, large enough trenches, and again these are trenches, like giant holes being dug, large enough so that uh, they would actually divert rivers. So they, there was some creature out there that was burrowing within the ground itself and its imprint that it was leaving the holes in the back, the trenches were so large that the rivers themselves surrounding it would fill in and they would help divert the rivers on there. On top of that, there were reports that people's homes and, and some of the earliest roads there were imploding on there because anytime um, one of these uh, trenches would suddenly, I mean, it, you couldn't see it, but what would happen was these homes would implode on themselves on the ground. Think of like the earth falling in on itself and when people were able to discern what exactly happened it looked like what had happened was something dug a very giant hole underneath the ground right where those homes were and right underneath the ground right where those roads were and whatever it was it it wasn't there before the trend like it wasn't it's not a, a sinkhole where it's just like a one-time cave no these were trenches that stretched throughout the longest time on there and then what's that, that happened on there, people actually started seeing this creature. And seeing it was quite something, quite a sight on there. It's been described as a creature that is at least 25 meters long. Uh, officially about 82 feet long. But the key word is at least. So it could be even longer than that. Maybe even more than 100 foot. If that's the case, then it would actually be a contender for the largest living animal out there in the in the uh, kingdom uh, other than the blue whale so if that's the case again and one is not considering Zaratan then it could be actually the largest living animal out there and it is pretty thick it has a circumference of about three and a half feet thick on there so it's not skinny it's not something that uh, uh, is just long and thin no it's actually long and very thick at the same time 
and the way uh, people say what was happening was they would this creature is apparently a creature that whose massive size either was causing intentional damage or accidental damage not necessarily something that it was doing on purpose but for example the people that were uh, using boats there on the river there in South Africa they were essentially going I'm sorry South America they were traveling by boat and then all of a sudden something would whoosh underneath them that would cause the boats to return and then they would also see sightings of something grabbing livestock livestock that was there drinking water near the river on there and easily dragging it underwater on there and this is again all besides uh, the subterranean trenches that were knocking down houses and collapsing roads altogether on there now as far as the actual physical sightings on there there was a publication of one for example in 1877 and this was posted on apparently a German publication and uh, it, this is a gentleman who essentially posted what someone else had told him that she saw uh, the way he wrote it he said a black woman going to draw water from a pool near a house one morning saw off a short distance an animal which she described as being as large as a house moving off along the ground in the same district a young man saw a huge pine suddenly overturned a huge pine tree in other words and he found the surrounding earth in movement creepy when one thinks about it on there because again it's just like straight out of the special effects uh, like think of the uh that uh, Transformers movie with that giant earth drilling monster imagine seeing something like that where the ground around you is just uh, not collapsing but there's activity on there as if something is swimming through the ground and in any case he found the surrounding earth in movement and then an enormous worm like black animal in the, med in the middle of it about 25 meters long and with two giant horns on its head. That seems to be, by the way, the most distinctive mark of this particular cryptid are those two giant horns on its head, which you've seen some of the pictures of here. What those horns are for, I don't know, but that seems to be the most distinctive style on there. Another uh, witness was a gentleman by the name of Levino Jose dos Santos, and the way he said it was uh, they have found a creature who was found lodged between two rocks. This was actually an encounter with one of the dead Minho Kao. So it's not a live one, but somebody was actually able to get a view of the, one of the dead ones. And according to that, they stated that they found this creature lodged between two rocks with the skin reported to be as thick as a bark of a pine tree. In other words, very, very rough, not smooth stuff on there, and armored with scales like those of an armadillo. Again, it instantly makes one think of those creatures, again, in Tremors with their very thick skins, which would be uh, it's not surprising because if you have a creature that is burrowing within the ground and uh, doing so in a very quick fashion, you would have to have skin that is very thick, something that is highly, highly uh, resistant to all of the rocks and all of the twigs and all of the materials within the earth that would just scrape by the skin on there. And there was another person, uh, this is 1870 again, and this is near Lagos, Brazil, and this was a gentleman by the name of Francisco de Amaral Barrea. He said, he was another witness, he said, he saw one lying on the bank of the Rio das Caveiras, a strange animal of a gigantic size, nearly one meter in thickness, not very long, and with a snout like a pig. So apparently he saw this thing, probably it was just out there just sunbathing, um, as some animals do whenever they're trying to uh, make sure, because they're cold-blooded, that their blood stays a certain temperature. So he probably saw one of these just sunbathing out there, and uh, wisely enough, um, wanted to make sure that he didn't get close enough. He said that while he called his neighbors to assist him, maybe to assist in making sure that there was other witnesses, that's when it vanished, and it did leave... It didn't leave anything else other than um, another trench that it had dug on there. So pretty, pretty interesting stuff. And again, um, it looks like the closest thing as far as uh, anybody has um, actually seen something real 
up front and close and personal was one of those uh, dead mihokoa by by the gentleman again Jose dos Santos on there unknown though what it have exactly what happened with anybody there uh, whether they took a piece of this dead mihokoa or if they just left it there as is pretty pretty freaky stuff so what do you guys think is there really a giant earthworm out there, a quote-unquote earthworm out there? Again, nearly 100 feet in size, about 3.5 meters thick. Is it really out there just burrowing in the ground on there? Kind of creepy one thinks about it because here you have a creature that can't be stopped, really. I mean, you can, everything involving guarding things, it's always about, you know, putting up a wall, putting up a fence. Uh, putting up a roof, something along those lines, but what do you do with regards to uh, guarding against the ground? Again, very creepy, just like that movie Tremors, where all of a sudden you start thinking, you know, I really shouldn't be standing on the ground, I should be somewhere high at that point. But again, with this creature on here, burrowing through the ground and it being nearly 100 feet long, uh, it would be as quick as uh, you're standing in your house, and then all of a sudden, the entire room shakes, there's a giant trim or something feels like it's whooshing underneath the ground and then you go down on there. So pretty creepy stuff on there. If anyone else has heard the tale of this particular cryptid, please post your comment, share your thoughts below. Anybody else that has uh, heard people seeing it, anything else along those lines, share them as always. So, Alright, thanks again everybody. Take care. Bye.